Okay, question 12. So Sam regularly plays handball. The probability that she wins any game is 0.4 and the outcome of each game is independent of the outcome of every other game. So that's telling us straight away that it's part of binomial probability because she's playing the game, she can either win or lose and all events are independent. So determine the probability that in 12 games, Sam wins. So exactly seven games means that seven is the number that we want. Uh, the number of trials is going to be 12. The probability that she wins is 0 0.4. And we are looking at B, P, D because we're looking at a single one. So I'm going to go over to my statistics function, distribution, binomial, and B, P, D. Now here I've got 7, 12, 0 0.4, and you want it to be variable. So now I can press execute, and I work out that the probability is 0 0.1009. Normally we go to four decimal places, or if I want to express this as a percentage, it's 10.09%. Okay, the next one we're looking at is that it's fewer than half of the games. So that means that it's not half or fewer, it's fewer than half. So half of the 12 games would be six, and we are not including the six. So that means that my lower range is going to be zero, my upper range is going to be five, the number of trials is going to be 12 and my probability is still 0 0.4. So menu, statistics still. Okay, so I want to go distribution, binomial, BCD this time. So come on. BCD because we're testing the range. Now I've got 0, 5, 12, 0 0.4. So when I enter that in, I'm going to write it down to four decimal places. Or if I want to express that as a percentage, it's 66.52% is her chance that she is going to win fewer than half of the games. Okay, the next one. So Sam attends coaching sessions to improve her handball skills. Her probability of winning any game has now increased to 0.48. Uh, so now our new probability is going to be 0 0.48. With the outcome of each game still independent, so it's still binomial. Uh, so we're going to determine the mean. So I'm going to look at our statistics and see what formulas I have. So I've got mean and variance for binomial distribution, which is what we're going to use in this case. So the mean is given by the number of trials times the probability, here our number of trials is still 12. So the mean is going to be 0 0.48 multiplied by 12, which is going to give me a score back in the run matrix. So now I've got 0 0.48 times 12. So the mean is going to be 5.76 in the next 12 games. So just a little under half. Okay, next one we're going to look at is the standard deviation. Now, standard deviation is just... What's my little... Okay, so standard deviation of our random variable x is given by the square root of the variance of x. Now, in... Binomial distribution, we're given that the variance is the number of trials multiplied by the probability times by 1 minus the probability. So I'm going to do that all in one step to save myself a bit of time. Four, eight. Okay, so... Over in my calculator, square root of 12 times 0 0.48 bracket 1 minus 0 0.48 bracket execute and I want it in a fraction form. So my standard deviation is 1.7307.